In this movie, you will become familiar with how to customize and save the energy performance report as a PDF document. In previous movie clips, we discussed how to adjust the energy-related characteristics of thermal blocks, various building structures and openings, as well as building systems. We also presented how to use operation profiles, climate data, environment settings, and so on. Please don't forget to update the energy model review as well as the zones before proceeding with the analysis. Once all the necessary input for the energy calculation is provided, and the building energy model has also been updated, we can run the energy simulation. Let's click the Start Energy Simulation button at the Energy Model Review palette to initiate the building energy analysis. Depending on the performance of your computer, as well as the size of the building, it might take a couple of seconds or even a minute to complete the energy analysis. The Energy Evaluation Report opens. On the left side of the report, you can access various customizable options for the header and footer, format, and chapters of the report. Let's display the header and footer page first. Here you can add a custom name as well as an image for the header and also specify font and pen characteristics. On the report format page, you can define the font characteristics and line types for the report texts. Finally, the report chapter tab page allows you to customize various options for the chapters of the evaluation report. All the various chapters of the report are listed here. The Key Values chapter presents the key results and summary of the energy report. The general project data, building geometry data, building shell performance data, heat transfer coefficients, as well as specific annual demands are all displayed at the Key Values chapter. Let's scroll down in the report or double-click the name of the next chapter in the list on the left. Energy consumption by sources and by target chapters display bar charts or pie charts depending on your preference. These charts visualize the energy sources and their targets, quantities, as well as the corresponding costs. Let's proceed to the energy balance chapter. Here you can choose weekly or monthly time intervals to display the supplied and emitted energy. You can also define the energy unit with the help of the pop-up list. The color of the legend can also be altered with the help of the legend color dialog. The thermal blocks chapter provides a summary of all the thermal blocks in the project. We can add page breaks before and after this chapter if we wish to publish the thermal blocks as standalone, separate pages. Please note that the content of the evaluation report can also be freely modified. Using the checkboxes at the chapter list, you can freely decide about which chapters you wish to include in the published report. The order of the chapters can also be altered using the handles at the chapter list panel on the left. Once the customization of the evaluation report is completed, simply click the Save as PDF button at the lower right corner of the screen to save the report as a PDF document on your computer. Let's open this PDF evaluation report and display its content. Please notice that all the previously made customizations are maintained in the PDF report. Please note that the evaluation report can also be exported as an Excel spreadsheet. Please view the corresponding tutorial clip for further details.